in this studio vlog, I share what I've been up to since January. I get some new gear and head outside to paint. We soak up some inspiration in the mountains. The cats have a battle. A bird flies off a roof and I talk about some stuff. I'm like a plant, you know, I feel like I'm waking up again. I've been slowly recovering from creative burnout and to do that I've turned my focus more to less creative jobs, <laughs> a lot of the administrative tasks. Things like bookkeeping, taxes, fulfilling orders, and all the stuff that doesn't create a ton of pressure to be creative. One thing that I can easily fall back on and feel creative is my photography. It's just ingrained into me as a very relaxing and creative and rewarding activity. I've been spending a ton of time outside learning the new system and it's been incredibly therapeutic. Nomadic Artist sent me this teeny little wallet palette, and I know there are other similar palettes on the market. This one I think is available on Etsy. I really love sorting colors and making up new palettes, and I wanted to take this one to the mountains. By the way, I am still using and absolutely loving the limited colors that I chose for my main palette. I did this a while back, maybe last summer, and made a whole video about why I chose the colors and lots of swatching and stuff, so you can go watch that if you're interested. But since this little palette holds 12 colors, it was perfect for a short little trip to the mountains.
I want to say a massive thank you to everyone who has joined my Patreon over the winter, and I honestly can't believe how much it's been growing, how fast it's been growing, and I'm just incredibly grateful for the support, especially over the really hard winter. And I recently made a one hour multi-day planner tutorial and posted it over there. And I'll continue to make as much helpful and fun and inspiring content as I can. Aren't these things supposed to be like hidden? <laughs> oh well. Ugh. I've tried to record this video like three times now and something keeps going wrong either with the audio or like it's, it's not focused on me or I don't know, whatever. <laughs> uh, but oh my goodness, you guys, it's been sunny probably seven out of the last 10 days and it's like a whole new world. I, I've been working a lot in the darker hours of the day just so I can be outside in the sun as much as possible. Even if that just means I'm doing yard work or just sitting and sketching or reading. Like, oh my goodness, it's amazing. It's so uplifting after this really hard, cold, wet, depressing winter. This is like breathing new life into me. <laughs> I'm like a plant, you know, I feel like I'm waking up again and it feels so good. I've been using the past month or so to wrap up a few big projects and try as hard as I can to make a plan for this year. Although my plans are always pretty loose. I usually have a few big goals and then other little goals and things shift and evolve very quickly. I've been seriously struggling with creativity and energy <laughs> um, and just every time I open the news it's absolutely heartbreaking. At times I just feel this overwhelming sorrow and like the only thing I can do to keep going is is to well, pet my kitties, first of all. <laughs> and if it's sunny, I'll go for a walk, but it doesn't change the fact that I've, that what is going on is real. For so many people, it's it's been the hardest month of their life. Oftentimes I feel so guilty because I'm safe and healthy and happy and living this life I created, <laughs> this this dream life, um, following my dream, and like it's paralyzing to think that it could all end in at, at any second. And for many people it did recently. I do know the value in continuing, and for me that means continuing to share content to create tutorials and maybe some form of inspiration for people or even just distraction. <laughs> I guess a big part of my job is creating inspiring distractions. <laughs> and I know that if we all just stopped and we all didn't continue because we all felt guilty, then evil prevails. And I definitely don't want to go down that road. So at times I allow myself to grieve for those who are, who are suffering. I try to just 
pick myself up and keep going. And but yeah, that's that's why I think a lot of my content has been strictly educational, like uh, focusing on tutorials and stuff. Um, and even, but even if you looked at my personal art, I've been focusing 100% on studies. Uh, actually, something interesting that's been happening creatively for me is that I've barely been painting. I've been painting specifically for tutorials and like for my Patreon stuff, but behind the scenes, I've been drawing nonstop, um, doing studies mostly. So studying light and shadow on specific things like trees and boats and stuff. One thing that really helps me when I'm really low on creative juice or low on energy in general is to stop forcing myself to try to be ultra creative or work on big concepts or anything that's like really personal and meaningful um, because that takes a lot of me and when I don't have anything to give uh, what I do instead is I just do work <laughs> I do I do studies and right now the most comforting thing to me is drawing drawing is was my first love when it comes to art and it's my it's like my comfort blanket <laughs> Anytime I'm sad or upset or um, not feeling well, if I'm going to do anything art related, I, can, I know I can always go to drawing. And the best thing about drawing is that you just need a piece of paper and a pencil or a pen. You know, it's so minimal. And so what I've been doing lately is taking out my little uh, toned paper sketchbook with, I think, three utensils, a pen pencil, a white marker, and a blue marker. So four things. And I found this little attachment for my sketchbook that just clips to the outside and all four of those things fit in the little pouch. It's so convenient and I'm just good to go. And I just, I've just been sketching everything I see. So meanwhile, while I'm trying to bounce back from being really low, I am still doing work. I'm still improving my skills. Um, it's much easier to turn my brain into like work mode than it is into creative mode. So I can, I can keep going. I can keep getting work done. And I know worse comes to worse if I'm having a really bad day, but I absolutely have to record something for some reason. Um, I can record some studies and share my knowledge when it comes to that. So, so that's me lately. I'm drawing. And all I want to do is draw. And I'm not making myself feel bad for that. Even though a lot of people know me as a painter, drawing is at the core of everything I do anyway. Um, but I just don't share it quite as often. I'm just living week by week, basically. I have signed up for a couple things. There's one event in June uh, that's, I think it's, I, I forgot exactly what it's called, but it's basically like a sketch outside day with artists or anyone interested in learning art and a bunch of people and artists we're all going to meet up and just have a day of creativity together sketching painting whatever we feel like and then at the end of the two days there's like a critique session well it's voluntary you don't have to do it um, but especially I'll make an effort and I'll make time to just try to get to know some local artists because I've Still, since we've moved to this area, I haven't met anyone. <laughs> I'm so lonely. I have my online community, which has been keeping me going. It's amazing being able to talk to people from all over the world. But um, humans are meant to interact uh, in person, I, I, I feel. That's really important. And the longer I go without doing that, even though I'm an introvert and I have very low energy when it comes to socializing. I feel it's very unhealthy to not have any community in person. It's weird because I talk to so many people all the time online. And so, you know, you'd think, oh, how can you be lonely? But I am. And my counselor suggested that I actually just go to events. <laughs> and I'm like, yeah, I'd love to. But a lot of things have been canceled or moved or keep getting postponed because of the pandemic. So this is the first thing I've signed up for that I'm really hopeful that it's going to happen. 
And the best part is that it's in my comfort zone. We're outside, we're painting or drawing, um, just being in nature and connecting. And that's much more enticing than sitting in a room. <laughs> so I'll definitely bring my camera along. I, I won't be invasive to anyone, but I'll, I'll share the journey as much as I can with you guys. So there's my little update from the garden. We should call this like garden chats or um, chatty garden. I don't know. I'm bad at coming up with names. If you guys think of a name where we, we just have like a chatty ketchup session in the garden, let me know in the comments. <laughs> but I truly hope you are all well, that you're healthy and safe. And, you know, if you're struggling, I understand. <laughs> but we'll get through it together. Thank you all so much for watching my videos, for all the comments you leave me. It's so uplifting. I just, I'm really grateful for you all and I will see you all again soon. So take care everyone. What are you doing? You're the dirty kitty rolling in the dirt. Yes, you are. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, look at you. Ew, don't lick off your... You need to shake it off. Oh.